All my life is normal, good Jewish life. And then I wake up from bombs. If I don't have kids, never go. I will stay in Odessa like my parents. With my friends, go and fight. On the third day, Jewish agency comes to us to help us to go to Israel. They are really perfect people. When we sit on the fly uh, for my kids, it was so excited. For them, it was like their, their dreams come true, really. I live in hotel in Jerusalem two months and nobody say me nothing. It's also a miracle because uh, they said you, you can live two, two, two weeks. First week was uh, difficult because uh, it was also when, when people help you, you're also like uh, nervous. Uh, but then <coughs> you realize more and more that you're not alone. You feel that all Israel open to you. They helped me to rent apartment and uh, my kids was very happy. And uh, then the next step was to find a school. And I want to, that school will be a Jewish school. The real life now started. We can say like this. And they saw that I'm so active and they said that if uh, I will quickly uh, learn Hebrew, uh, they think about that they can give me a job. So my, my, also my life uh, started. The idea of going to Israel was uh, always very attractive. But now Israel is our home, yes. My son goes to school, my daughter is in the kindergarten. I'm waiting for my Ulpan classes and trying to, to be socially active. I'm really happy here. I had a very long journey. It took me more than a month to get to Israel. When we get to the Hungarian border, it was a very difficult part of the journey because we had to separate physically. And when we crossed the border, there was a person from Sakhnut who was waiting for us, who told, told us, Alina, Max, Ksenia, we are waiting for you. She, she hugged us, hugged us. And it, and it was so touchy. And it was so important to know that in, the, in another country you are waited for. There is somebody who waits for you. But this helping hand and uh, the words of support were very important for me. It was very important to know that I go to, not to nowhere, I go to somewhere where somebody is waiting for me. I'm living with my relatives now and I'm looking for an uh, apartment here. We had a lot of support, we had uh, uh, toys, uh, books, uh, clothes, uh, footwear, uh, everything. About the whole support in Israel and uh, what I have faced here is something that I want, I want to shout about, to, to say very loudly, because so m I have never seen so many kind people as in Israel. When you live good life, you do not share the misfortune of other people. When you face the misfortune, it is easier to help. So these people who donated, they are great people, everybody. Because they did it, not because they had this suffering inside. They did it because they had kindness and they wanted to help. And I don't know what makes them help other people whom they even don't know? And I think, how big 
is the humanity inside of them that they are willing to help. I want to say thank you very, very much uh, to everybody, to Jewish Agency, to Karanei Sot, to Ministry of Absorption, to people in Israel. Uh, they, they all make amazing things. Uh, they, make, uh, they make miracles in this world. Uh, what happened with me this short time, um, it's, it's, it's heaven, really heaven in this world. Thank you. I would like to thank everybody who helped Sachnut and Gerena Esod. You are great people and you teach me how people should act with our other people. How, what is humanity? It's only now that I know what humanity really means. Thank you a lot. Ani yadat ktsat evrit, ani ohevet adhem, todaraba.